Hi guys, welcome back to Makeup Bag Monday, week number 37, where I review products and test things out for a full week, check back every week to find out how all the products performed from the previous week with swatches, in-depth reviews, and demos of me applying all of the products. If you're new, I'm Serene, and this is my weekly makeup bag series. So it's a really great way for me to give you guys reviews after really testing everything out for a full week of new product launches, as well as products products that are in my makeup collection that need to be rotated or purged if I don't love it still. So if you want to see how all of the products perform from last week, just keep on watching. But if you want to catch up on Makeup Bag Mondays, I do have a playlist in that description box. It's the first link I'm going to put in the description box. So if you want to catch up from last week or any of the Makeup Bag Mondays from the previous week, because there are 37 now, then just click that description box link and you can catch up via that playlist. And if you watched last week, it was basically focusing on all the products I was going to bring with me on my birthday trip to Vegas to see the Backstreet Boys. So I brought very minimal, easy to use makeup, no fuss makeup that I knew were, was most likely going to perform very well because they're tried and true with a couple new things. And then of course, like my evening outlook for the Backstreet Boys. Product number one was the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. And I never really gave this a huge shot, but I actually quite enjoy it. This is perfect for the hotter weather because it is very hydrating and it gives me this beautiful glow, but it doesn't feel super greasy. It doesn't feel super thick. And I feel like my skin is still able to kind of be my skin, but build up the moisturizing levels with this priming moisturizer and because it doesn't have dimethicone in it it works really well with more water-based products and it works really well with pretty much all of my products it's quite affordable it acts as a daily moisturizer or a primer depending how you want to use it and most likely I would apply this, my SPF, and then I would go in with my Glossier Skin Tint. This has been a favorite of mine for a while. Now this is a very, very, very light coverage. You are still going to see your freckles, you're going to see a lot of your skin, but it just kind of gives this beautiful wash of tint, and it still looks like you have no makeup on, but a little bit of a coverage, like very minimal coverage, which I personally prefer for vacationing and just no fuss because I put about eight drops in my palms and I just rub it onto my face, good to go. Kind of diminishes any of the sallowness of my skin, any redness I might have, but still look like skin and it makes everything else just easier. It wears really well throughout the day and it's like no fuss makeup. Concealer I brought with me is my Glossier Stretch Concealer. I really like this concealer because it works for under my eyes as well as the redness around my nose and any blemishes I might have. It's a buildable coverage. It looks like skin, it looks beautiful, and it goes perfect for my dry areas and under my eyes. I just set it immediately and it lasts all day for me for my under eyes. So again, really, really good concealer, very good coverage that's buildable and looks like skin super emollient, so do set it in the areas you apply it, and I wear the shade medium. Traveling, I love having a concealer that's just an all-in-one situation, and this is it for me. For my brows, I have been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in Soft Brown. This has been a go-to forever. I've Actually, this is my third one, and it's just a really good, easy way to fill in your brows, define your brows, and I like to set it with my Glossier Boy Brow because this is like a waxy texture. Your brows aren't going to feel crispy. They're going to be set. It lasts all day. It has a little bit of a fiber, so it makes your brows look thicker, fuller, more defined, and it doesn't feel crispy, which I love. For the evening time and anytime I want more coverage, still not a lot of coverage, but just a little bit more, I would go to my Cogendo Moisture Foundation. And this is one of my favorite kind of all-in-one foundations because it is water-based, because it is super lightweight, it wears beautifully, it lasts a long time on me, it's a good color match. I wear the shade one, two, three. And because it is buildable and it, really looks like skin still and it's a moisturizing foundation which is great for my dry areas but it still works well on my oily areas as well um i really 
love this. It comes in a tube. I brought it with me to New York recently and it's just like my go-to throw in my bag foundation because it looks like skin. It's easy to apply. You can use your fingers. You can use a brush. You can use a sponge. It's super lightweight. It feels amazing and it just makes my skin look good. The lucent powder I brought with me is the Ilia one. It's the Fade Into You Soft Focus Finishing Powder. I use this under my eyes. I use it on any of the areas that I use concealer as well as setting my makeup with this. It's really nice. It's talc free and it's also vegan. So if I use a loose powder, I do, do try to pick healthier versions of loose powders because it does get into your face and you might inhale it. I've been using it for quite some time and what I like about it is if I do remember there's a little sifter in here that you can turn and close it up so perfect for traveling. The eye product I wore on my eyes for every single day is my MAC Paint Pot in Groundwork and I love this sucker. This just gives me a beautiful wash of color. It works beautiful as a base for deeper eyeshadows and you can definitely smoke it out, make it look deeper or just do a really pretty light mauvey brown-ish shade. For the evening time, I pulled out my Complete Eye Palette Nude Blush number 12 from Burberry and it's a beautiful plummy purpley purple eyeshadow palette. I'm wearing it today. I love this. It's a really great purple toned eyeshadow palette that I bought, I loved, but never really pulled out to use. And I think you can mix this and use it for the daytime. You can smoke it up a little bit more for a deeper look or you can go ba -bam and really, really make it a purple smoke, smoky look. And what I love about it is how beautiful the shadows are. They're really blendable, they're really soft, really easy to use and a little goes a long way, really good quality and I need to actually use this more because it's so beautiful and easy to work with and travel with. Eyeliner I brought with me is the new M Cosmetics Illustrative Eyeliner with the brush tip. One of my favorite new eyeliners because it is a brush tip and it's incredibly easy to control and maneuver. So it made my liquid eyeliner, my little wing eyeliner, go on really smooth, really simple, really controlled, and it's very thin, which I look for, and it doesn't skip. So quite enjoy this. I just kind of have to test it out to see how long it lasts me because it is um, a brush tip. Sometimes they dry out a little bit faster for liquid liners, so I just need to see how long it lasts. So far, I enjoy the quality of it. Every single day, I was really just using my Glossy Cloud paints for a little bit of color on my face. I would use the shade Dusk all over my, the contours of my face and I'm actually wearing it today as well. And then I would switch off between Puff, which is my favorite, and Beam to just get a wash on my cheeks. And again, I'm wearing Puff today on my cheeks. It is incredibly like beautiful. It goes on almost like a gel and it blends out. It doesn't cling to dry patches. It lasts all day and it just looks like you're glowing from within and the colors coming from within you. So I love using these. Going along with that, if I wanted to deepen things up for the evening time, I would use my Hourglass Illum Sheer Color Trio in Sunset. It's a cream trio of bronzer, blush and highlight, but it's one of my favorite go-tos to throw in my travel bag because it is so good. You can contour with this or warm up your face. It's very emollient, but it sets nicely and it lasts all day and it doesn't cling to my dry areas. It just looks very natural, but I can build it up in terms of pigmentation. The blush is a really pretty blush and the highlight is a really beautiful cream highlight as well. So this was kind of like lives in my travel makeup bag. I wanted to test out the new Becca bronzers and this is is the Sunlit Bronzer in Capri Coast. This I would use if I wanted to warm up my face a little bit more and layer the powder over a cream product. And I really like it. It's very buttery, very soft, exactly what you would expect from Becca in terms of a powder product. I feel like Becca does beautiful powder products that are incredibly soft and pigmented and smooth. Very buttery for a powder and it did do a really nice job warming up my face. So I quite enjoyed this as well. And for even more color payoff, I was playing with this limited edition Sun Chaser Palette Bronze Blush and Highlight from Becca. This is available at Ulta or Becca's 
website and I love it. I'm wearing this over my cloud paints today. So what I would do is I'd wear the cloud paints for every single day and if I wanna layer it and make it last a little longer even, I layer it with powder products or those cream products I just showed you from Hourglass. And at night, I kick up the volume by building it up even more with some of these products. So I like this for travel, especially the summertime because you kinda of have your all-in-one and a nice mirror and it's nice and sleek. So good packaging, pick it up if you're interested. It is limited edition. Mascara I've been using is the Cogendo Mafiish Mascara. This is a tubing mascara. I've talked quite a lot about it, so I'm not gonna to talk too much about it. It's really good, I highly recommend it. I have the Glossy Dew Effect Highlighter in Quartz, one of my favorite creamy highlights. There's a moisture stick in the center, and this has actual rose quartz in it. So it's super dewy, very hydrating. I'm wearing it today on my cheekbones. That's how I'm getting that almost like wet look. And then of course I layered it with a little bit of opal from this palette to set it a little bit more and kick up the volume for the camera. This is perfect for hotter weather and like the beach and the pool. It's so effortless and you just look like you're glistening in a really good way. My daytime lip product was from Milk Makeup and this is their oil lip stain. I quite enjoyed this because it's incredibly hydrating. It made me look like I had a little popsicle stain on my lips, which I like. And it just, it's fun, simple to keep in my makeup bag or in my purse. And at nighttime, and what I'm wearing currently are these new Burberry Liquid Lip Velvet. And my favorite shade, which is the one I'm wearing today, is in fawn number zero five which is more of a mauvey rose shade and then i also did wear oxblood which is a little bit more of a i want to say well it's like ox bloody but it's very wearable and then i did wear this in my last video which was bright plum these are incredibly comfortable to wear they lasted a good amount of time they wear off beautifully and they're just really soft and velvety with a good color payoff and pigmentation and comfort level so there's no scent to it. I really love these. I might actually look in to see what other colors they have because these are just phenomenal, beautiful packaging, beautiful product. Love them. The fragrance I've been wearing for almost three weeks now is the Fresh Hesperium Grapefruit. I really love this. It's just so perfect for the spring summer months, especially the hot weather. Citrus scents are my favorite around this time of the year, but I am going to change it up this coming week and I'm going to pull out my Brazilian Crush from Sol de Janeiro. You guys know I love the Bum Bum Cream from Sol de Janeiro. It's awesome, it's amazing. And this smells exactly like that and the body wash. So they came out with the body spray and I haven't really used it a ton so I thought I'd rotate this into my Makeup Bag Monday. Now for some of the other products I will be testing out for Makeup Bag Monday in the coming weeks. First product is the new California Dream Blush from Benefit and I think this is such adorable packaging. It's so pretty. You get so much in here but it's like a golden pink and I think it's so gorgeous so can't wait to test that out. have this Models Own Now Brow Eyebrow Kit. I've never tried anything from Models Own so I'm quite excited to play with this. Oh, there's little stencils in here for your brows. That's really kind of cool. I have some Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man Tell No Lies makeup. This is the lipstick and lip gloss duo. So you can wear them separately or you can wear them together. They're supposed to complement each other, but you by no means have to wear them together. I did do an Instagram makeup look using all of the Pirates of the Caribbean makeup. And I have to say, at first I was like, mm, this is a weird clap. And then I was like, oh no, it's actually really good. So I have the shades Trident and Barbossi. So these are the two I'll play with. I have the limited edition eyeshadow makeup set and the quality of these are really nice. They're very similar to the Pro palettes. In fact, I feel like they're just as good as the Pro palettes. I haven't tried out every single shade yet, but the ones I did try out in my Instagram tutorial, I really enjoyed and I felt like the quality was just as good as the Pro palettes, which isn't always the case with Lorac, by the way. And it comes with this little eyeliner, which I was able to use to flick my wing. So this was a really creamy eyeliner too. And what's so cool about this packaging is there's a secret compartment where you can slip in the face palette that you buy separately. This is the little contour face palette that I also used. And it again, quite pigmented, very soft, very easy to work with and blend. 
So this is sold separately, but I have it as well. And I just think it's kind of cool that you can shove it in here and have less packaging. I also am going to test out these Pure Cosmetics sponges. These were available around Easter, and I just think they're super cute. I love that they have a little flat end on one side and the bouncy side on the other. So I'm really excited to see if these are a good kind of dupe for the Beauty Blender or if they work just as well. And finally, I will be testing out the new M Cosmetics liquid lipstick stains from M Cosmetics which re recently relaunched and these are the shades I have all of the shades that they recently relaunched I swatched them all on my Instagram photo of this so what these are they're supposed to be super comfortable to wear almost like moussey with a stain and I'm just really interested I love the new packaging from M Cosmetics and I'm excited to test these out and let you guys know how they perform after a week so that is everything I will be testing out next week if you want to see what I think about all the products with swatches in-depth review and demos then make sure you come back next week to check out makeup bag Monday it comes on every Monday here on my channel I upload three new videos here on this channel every Monday Wednesday and Friday two new videos over on my second channel more serene every Tuesday and Thursdays which is lifestyles PR unboxings vlogs and DIYs you can find all of that on more serene all of my channels, including the podcast, is linked in the description box. And of course, if you want to catch up on Makeup Bag Mondays, there's a playlist as well as some other fun videos you might want to check out. I will link that in the description box for you guys, as well as a list of all the products I have talked about. And as always, I hope my videos helped motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in, because I know when I look and feel my best, I'm a lot more capable at dealing with whatever life has to throw at me. And if anything, I hope my video just helped you unwind, de-stress from your day, take your mind off of whatever it was you needed help taking your mind off of. That's why I watch YouTube videos. That's how I even discovered this beauty community. And that's why I make YouTube videos for you guys, as well as just because I like helping you guys shop. And I love beauty products, but it does take my mind off of some of the not so fun things in life. So I hope I was able to do that for you. And I hope you have a wonderful night. I will see you guys back here on Wednesday and bye.